going on guys with Derek with Southern Style Lawn Care and today I'm finally going to do a full review of the Gravely Pro Turn 152. This is a 2015 model. I bought it brand new but it saved me a thousand dollars to not have to um, to not have to buy the new one and all, the 16 and the only difference was same seat different color. I mean that's it. Same motor, same x-factor deck i mean everything all right first of all i want to start with the upgrades i've added I added the chute blocker this is the gravely model you push the handle it goes to medium which is that's about like running you know just a normal chute you can close it off all the way nothing's coming out of that so if you got some cars driving by you or whatnot that's nice i usually run it halfway from the tall stuff wide open um it's been a good mower we're running two mowers right now we still run the xl sometimes but as you can see we've only got 23 hours on it uh right at almost 24 that's i waited i needed at least that many to really get the feel for it i didn't want to do a full review with you know one hour on the mower because the first hour on the mower we shredded a drive belt we got the Kawasaki FX69 1V on here. Great motor, great motor. I know that comes on a lot of different uh, models as well, but a lot of different mowers too. It's got the uh, full rope system on it. It's got the dual gas tanks, which I do love. I think it holds around nine gallons all together. Um, the only thing I don't like is it has no gas gauge on either tank so you really don't know when you're running out it's got the swap right there right tank left tank i know i need to wash this but i'm trying to get this video done before it rains got to mention this so i'm gonna peep this into the video but the uh the cut quality on this thing is exceptional um mowed four and a half acres today for example and didn't have one weed sticking up i think i had actually a few weeds sticking up in one spot but that was when i just you know just barely missed a strip but uh the cut quality is out of one to ten i would rate the cut quality at a um probably a nine you know nine nine point five i love it um i would rate the fuel consumption at probably a nine it can run about three hours on each tank and I would rate the mower overall at a 9 to 9.5, especially for what we do down here in Mississippi. It gets hot, you know, it's rough out here. I mean, the hills and, you know, there's just, here's some obstacles out here. You get trees and roots and, you know, nobody's yards is cookie. You got a few neighborhoods that are cookie cutter, which are easy and simple and all good. But for the most part, you got these country houses that, you know, been there 50, 60 years. And they've got roots and all that stuff, so you're going to come into some hard terrain. And uh, the Gravely's handled that good for us, and uh, we really appreciate the uh, help that Gravely's given us. Like I said, I popped the belt with one hour. The dealer fixed it immediately, you know, gave me a loaner for a day or two, and got it fixed for me. So they, they just stand behind their product. It's a good one. Uh, it's tough. It's driving a tank that cuts grass very well. So thank you all for watching and enjoy the rest of the video it does have the kawasaki cancer air filter <clears throat> if you need that especially down here as dusty as it gets we have the 52 inch deck um you get through most gates with that i was in between that and a 48 and just ended up getting the 52 we've got a few properties that you know have some real acreage to them that is the striping kit we put on i will say the gravely get a better view of that kind of hard to see maybe from this angle yeah you can see it better there it does have the hydro zt 3400s on it i feel like they're just now breaking in starting to run a lot smoother but all in all i'm very very impressed i mean I'm, i knew i would be you know getting a gravely uh that's all we've ever ran and got the uh 23 by 10 by 12 inch tires 
This thing really does surprise me on hills. It rides hills really well. If you're looking for a good hill rider, this is pretty good. It's a first start. You know, it's got your choke right here. Uh, it's not going to give you any problem starting. The belts are pretty, you know, really heavy duty. Everything about this is going to be heavy duty. I mean, the casters, the frame, I mean, it's got great grease points on it. Um, I will say that Gravely it's striped on a 1 to 10 striping wise before the striping kit. I would have probably given it a 5. Um, and that being said, around here, you know, mostly we're messing with, you know, like tall fescue, you know, St. Augustine. We got a few yards with some Bermuda. That strikes really well. Uh, got some centipede. You know, and then some Bermuda and St. Augustine mixed together. And then you got a lot of yards with a bunch of clover and crabgrass because people don't really care about their yards. But that's normally what you're going to cut with it. But with the striping kit added on a 1 to 10, I would say it's about a 9, 9.5. Strikes very well. It even strikes the bad grass with that kit. Now we did upgrade to the gator blades um that made a big difference in the mornings when you you know you're cutting and it's still a little dewy it tended to clump a little bit with the high lifts that came on it so once we put the gators you know it really it doesn't clump anymore worst case it just throws out you know more clippings but it does not clump uh unless it's just super tall and once again i know i need to clean it but if you're in the market for something that's I mean, you could really give this thing a beat. I mean, it's heavy duty. And, I mean, I really have nothing bad to say about it. Like I said, we shredded a dry belt with one hour on it. Brand new. I mean, that's the last thing you want to happen with a brand new mower. Especially one that's supposed to run like a champ. But after that, it, it runs great. I mean, spindle spin great. I mean, it just, everything about it feels good. It drives good. It, like I said, it holds hills so good. I've never had a mower that will hold a hill like this one will. Um, even my ZTXL, it just, just no comparison. I know the tires weren't as wide, but I mean, this thing is a beast. So if you're looking for a mower, you want a commercial grade, the 152 is a very good option for you. It does have the air ride seat um, right here. You can dial in your weight right there, and that will give you different, you know, cushion with the air ride. It's got the back angle adjustment. You can also adjust these, and then on the other side, it does have lumbar support as well. Great seat. I know that seat comes on a lot of different mowers as well. Um, got the new deck option. It doesn't hang by chains. I like that. It's not as... I mean, this deck is solid. This is seven gauge steel on this. Uh, the Pro Turn 52, I think, still has 10 gauge, but once you go to this 152, it goes up to seven. Uh, it's just a beast. I weigh 180, and I could probably jump on it, and it does not budge. But that's all I've got to say about it. Um, I need to clean it, but besides that, she is a great mower. I'll give you another walk around. You guys, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Give us any future ideas. That's the lumbar adjustment. That's it. If you got any more questions on it, just give us a holler. And it has, you know, just been a great mower. I mean, knock on wood, but hopefully we won't have any more problems. I would suggest the striping kit and the uh, Gravely shoot block on that, and it will definitely hook you up. We've got some more videos coming soon. we got a full review on this 23 quart. Sub Z made in USA. This is actually 23 quarts where the Yeti is. Uh, it says 20 quart, but it's less. It's the same handle, all that good stuff. And then that's about it, guys. We appreciate y'all watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, let us know what you think. Appreciate it.